life of SK. Rainy day at the wireless stage, so we're just gonna be inside taking care of some business. We're 22 videos into this channel, 60,000 plus subscribers. I just wanted to say I appreciate how hard you guys have been going for me since I started. I'm still trying to develop my video style, so today I'm picking up the camera and doing a more vlog style type of video. If you consistently watch my content, you know I'll be having a filmer. So after this video is over, let me know which style you guys prefer. If you have any video suggestions for me, let me know. I'm trying to go crazy for you guys all 2024 while I'll take over. If you didn't know, this is what designing hard clothes get you. So don't give up, keep working. Wild, wild. And I'm leveling up wild packaging, so I just designed a few wrapped paper colorways. And then I also, and I also made a few shopping bags. So now I'm about to go measure some boxes, make sure they fit my pieces, and then I gotta finish designing that. Hopefully you guys see the vision, custom wire boxes with beautiful wire inside. Please skate three break. Let's get back to work.
we finally got inventory showing up. I got like five out of a hundred boxes, but I'm gonna just show you what came in. Do some quality checks and put them on the racks. Wild wow, sweatpants dropping soon. These are the blue ones. We also got the black pair that I'm wearing right now. Perfect fit. Got the double pocket on the back. Wild tie. We got a box of wild zipper pants right here. Wild zipper pants go crazy. Some details. Wild logo engraved on the zippers. Wild button. Wild tags. Double back pocket, the wild tag. They're more of a skinny fit, but not a super skinny fit. So if you want them to fit baggy, just size up one size and they'll fit perfectly. And you'll have a baggier fit. It's that simple. So we got a box of racer jerseys in. I think we need a box of some white ones. But right, let's get a quality check to make sure they turn out the same way as the samples. We got the wild logo on the shoulder. Wild neck label. The design. But yeah, these turned out fire. Wild racer jerseys. We also got the black colorway. This is gonna go quick. Don't sleep. We got the rhinestone SK hoodie. So there's rhinestones all over. With the SK embroidered logo on the front. 10 out of 10 piece. Rhinestones is not just gonna easily fall off. Wash this, dry this, make sure they're good. I mean, I would personally take better care of it if you actually purchase it and follow the wash instructions on the inside, but just saying, it's durable. You don't gotta worry about your rhinestones falling off. And I also got this in a blue colorway on the way. Then we got the wild graffiti hoodie. Quality on everything is crazy. Hand drawn by SK. Top tier. Top tier stitching everywhere. Perfect fits. 10 out of 10 pieces. Every single thing I draw. Promise you don't want to sleep on Wild. Wild 2024 takeover. But I also got these coming in blue. Got the Wild and Boss logo hoodie. It's like a 3D logo. Pretty cool piece. It's a more calm piece. Keep it simple, black on black. If you know, you know, Wild SK. Quality on all my pieces is crazy. I just can't wait for you guys to start feeling the new quality. You're gonna fall in love with Wild. We got the Wild Messenger bags dropping soon. It's a high quality bag. I like it more than my Louis Vuitton bags. I genuinely don't even want my Louis Vuitton bags anymore or any of my designer bags. I only like wearing Wild bags. That's a quick breakdown on Wild dropping soon. I'm most likely dropping all these pieces over a span of like three different drops in January. And then I have a full new collection that you guys haven't seen for February. This whole room is going to be filled with inventory in the next two weeks. Gotta get these racks for every single wall. Can't wait to see everyone putting on new wild fits. I just gotta prove that wild is the best. SK is the blueprint. I spent a lot of months working on these hoodies. Not the designs itself. Those, I mean, those took time, but the actual hoodie, the silhouette. I designed from the ground up, cut and sew, so I had to take all the measurements. I had to figure out how I wanted it to fit. I had to figure out the sewing, the materials, the stitching. Everything about the hoodie is completely made by me, so there's not anybody else that has this exact hoodie. This is currently the best sample I have right now, as far as the silhouette-wise quality. So I'm gonna break it down to you guys, show you some of the stuff about it, and hope that the video does it justice, but really you gotta buy it and find out for yourself. If I took this piece into a designer store and started comparing it to it, I promise you it would stand up to it because, I mean, ultimately, that's what it's based off of. I'm so obsessed with clothes, I'll just be going to stores and just feeling pieces, like, literally just analyzing, figuring out why they did this, and it just be surprising me what these luxury brands get away with because people really just be buying for the brand, but in my personal heart, I wanted to have good quality and people to be buying for my brand. I know my designs are crazy. I know my quality is going to be crazy now. I know my customer support's always been top tier. There's really nothing anybody could say negative about my brand because I've been doing everything the right way. It's because I fucking stress over this shit like crazy to make sure I do everything right. But at the end of the day, it's all coming together how it's supposed to. The thing is with clothing brands, it's all trial and error. You just gotta keep going until you figure it out. Wow, 2024 takeover. And I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of this piece so you can understand what I'm talking about. 
I brought out an OG wild hoodie so we can compare the upgrades easier. Basically, just look at the pieces itself. You can tell that the fabrics on this, top tier cuts, fabrics on this, just a regular hoodie. Like, not like it's a bad thing, it's still a good hoodie, but at the end of the day, it's not, it's not the same. First off, this flowing pocket is standard for all wild hoodies now. You can see it's not attached to the hem. It just gives it more of a designer, higher end look to me. Then we got the OG hoodie. Your average hoodie pocket. New wild sewing. It's even. It's not bulging out the fabric. Hem is way higher quality. Cuff way higher quality. And then you got your body sewing on the OG wild hoodie. It's just your standard sewing. Compared to the new wild sewing. You can see when I fold over the fabrics like just a clean looking hoodie. Maybe this is just a personal opinion, but I can look at this and I can look at this and I can see an insane quality difference. This looks like a luxury piece. This looks like your standard hoodie. New quality is a higher GSM, so it's heavier. And these are both size smalls. You can see on the old one, it just does not look like it fits as nice as the new one. I've learned a lot over the past few years building my brand, put it all into my new pieces. Wow, well, take over. These cost almost twice as much to manufacture as my old hoodies, so prices are going up, but I promise it's 100% worth it for the quality you're getting. When you put on new clothes, it should make you feel a type of way. This made me feel a type of way in 2022, 2021, but this is what we're putting on in 2024. This is what's gonna make you feel some type of way when you step out the house.